Israel, the cornerstone of the Western world. By Mark Langthan. Is Israel the cause of instability in the Middle East? Not worth the $3 billion the U.S. gives Israel every year? Or is Israel the cause of stability in the Middle East? And the West's first and last line of defense against an Iranian Islamic tidal wave which would smash into southern Europe. And hence, Israel would be worth every last red cent. Watch my maps and then decide. This is a simple country population map of the Middle East. In the upper left-hand corner is my personal dividing line between the West Greek versus the East Islamic, the blue seam line. Greece is just to the left of or west of the blue seam line. Greece has a total of 11 million Christians. 11 million Christians. East of or right of the blue seam line, there are 370 million Muslims. This 370 million Muslim population number excludes the 660 million Muslims in Pakistan, Nigeria, Indonesia, and India. Israel is the only non-Muslim bulwark country in between the 11 million Christian Greeks in Greece to the west and the 370 million Muslims who control 65% of the world's oil resources. Except, of course, Cyprus with a million Christians. And Cyprus doesn't have an army or navy to speak of. And to boot, Cyprus isn't even a NATO country. As if being a NATO country means anything anymore. Now, people who claim Israel is the cause of Middle East instability don't just claim that Israel was the core of instability since 1967. They say Israel has been the cause of instability since 1948. Which is just a polite Jew-hating Israel hating code for no Israel at all. Now we're not talking about an Israel with or without Judea and Samaria, more commonly known as the West Bank. No, understand this. We are talking about no Israel at all. So let's make the Israel haters dream come true in theory. Let's, in theory, excise Israel from the Eastern Mediterranean strategic balance. That is, if you call 11 million Greeks versus 370 million Muslims balance. For starters, this means the 1 million people of Cyprus don't have the Israeli army and the Israeli air force to protect it and to share with it 
the tens of billions of dollars of natural gas in the Levant Basin that lies between Israel and Cyprus. By the way, all these big EU banks have taken these Cyprus natural gas fields as collateral security for the massive loans the EU banks extended to Cyprus when Cyprus had to get a national bailout. So all of these big EU bank loans will go up in flames the second Israel is harmed, God forbid. Now remember, Cyprus is not a NATO-protected country. So Turkey, with 74 million people to the north, already occupies Cyprus's north. And Egypt, with its 83 million people to the south, needs the gas for itself. Turkey and Egypt together have standing armies larger than the entire population of Cyprus. In short, Turkey and Egypt would crush Cyprus. Next up on the Muslim Iranian hit parade list? Greece. You see, Iran has got a little score to settle with Greece. Dating back to 331 BCE, when Alexander the Great defeated the Persians at the Battle of Guagamala. But Greece is a NATO country. So in reality, Israel is really protecting NATO's southeastern flank. And therefore, without Israel, NATO and the EU are indefensible. Indefensible. And Congress would have to budget an extra 70 to 100 billion dollars a year in the out years 2 through 10 in the U.S. defense budget to fund a U.S. defense of the core NATO country called Greece. Against a 370 million strong nuclear armed Iranian Muslim attack. So, the entire question really boils down to a simple choice. Would you rather have 11 million resourceful Israelis deal with the 1.6 million Palestinians in the West Bank as best as the Israelis reasonably see fit? Or would you rather have 370 million Muslim Iranians deal with the 11 million Greeks as the 370 million Muslim Iranians will see fit? And also have U.S. troops die trying to defend Greece against a 370 million strong nuclear-armed Iranian Muslim attack. And oh, I almost forgot about Russia. With only about 142 million Christians. In a future 2020, with Israel excised from the Middle East, immediately to Russia's south in 2020, Russia would face 
a 370 million strong Iranian Muslim nuclear power with 65% of the world's oil and gas resources that Russia had just happened to arm with nuclear weapons because in 2015 Russia had armed Iran with the exact nuclear weapons that Russia now faces from its entire southeast. So, the cold hard reality is that Israel is protecting all of NATO, Western Europe, America, and Russia from an Iranian Muslim nuclear armed colossus. That will overrun them all before the morning's call to prayer. Therefore, Israel is NATO's, the U.S.'s, the EU's, and Russia's first and last line of defense against an Iranian Muslim 370 million strong nuclear armed oil rich colossus. In conclusion, a safe and secure Israel is not the cause of world instability and conflict, but the cornerstone of Middle East peace, world peace, and security. Israel is the cornerstone of world peace peace, security, and it is a light of democracy and of freedom unto the nations. Thank you for your attention.